Alright guys, <clears throat> this is the showcase video for the newest Supercar of the Coil Cyclone that just got released this morning, <clears throat> and uh, we're going to be taking a look at all the customization. This thing has already killed my bank account. I mean, I still got millions upon millions, 7 million, but not where I want to be right now, so buy money because this is going to be expensive okay so about the car though it's pretty standard so far I mean what the, what the hell is that a painted performance splitter okay <laughs> oh god kill me You've got an eye for this stuff. oh my god um Oh, I'm just gonna keep the regular headlights on because with supercars they actually look nice. It's got liveries. Okay, that may make it cool. Okay, hold on. Now we're working. Now we got something to work with. Okay, here we go. Life is hard when you can have anything. I like this. Ooh, I like that. Damn. Shit. I don't know. Because you guys know I'm all about white and black, right? I mean, as you can see. <laughs> Shit. Here we go. That's awesome. Liveries don't usually come through for me. Kind of makes me stressful. like this car. We're gonna... that what you were looking for? Oh, great. I'm, I don't care about trim color. I don't. I don't give a shit. That chrome is terrible right there. I'm almost afraid to even try it here. Yep, no. Chrome is out of the question. It's going to have to be something. I don't know. Maybe you guys like would really like Chrome, but I don't. Not on this car anyway. <clears throat> Do this white. All right, cool. See now we're now we're getting somewhere with this. It's starting to look good. I feel like something's missing though. I can't shake the feeling of it either. Hmm. I don't know. I don't. I feel like less. Like there's already a little bit too much white at the moment. So I'm gonna go with painted carbon. Spoiler. Yeah. I don't know if it needs a spoiler. Maybe if it looked really good. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know about a spoiler. Um, I'm going to go without a spoiler for now. Suspension always pisses me off. I feel, I feel like it's a huge waste of money. It's like this shit is already really low. It's like that's impossibly low. I don't know. I don't get it. I'm not gonna waste money. <laughs> good luck blowing those. But I always give all my cars all the good shit right off the bat. Oops. Little type. Now it's fitted with the chrome wheels. That's where I'll put chrome. I'll put it on the wheels. Even though I don't know if this car deserves it yet. <laughs> We'll see when I drive. That's why I really want to see what it can do. I just want to drive it. And uh, let's do that. Be your best you. I don't know about the spoiler, too. Depends on how it drives. I may put a spoiler on later. But I feel like it doesn't need one. Okay, so right off the bat, when I took off, it reminds me of the... Okay, this is good. So this was the new electric car, right? And it's made by the same company, Coil, that made the Coil Voltic. So basically what we have here, what it really feels like to me, is we have the Coil Voltic 2.0. I'm not kidding. That's exactly what this feels like. It just goes a little faster and the handling is a 
bit different. And, uh... Yeah. We got an oppressor fucking over here. Freaking me out. But, uh, yeah. It's like... It's just like... It's what the coil voltic should have been. <laughs> that's like that's what I'm getting from this car, seriously. I wonder. Hmm. Like, it has, it has like, it slides really easily. You could pull off some major drifts in this. You know what I'm saying? But that could be really, really hard to race in. You know, like. Like, you, you turn and just look at that. It's like, whoa. I mean, I know how to, like, get it back on the road and shit. And keep, you know, I know how to not keep myself from spinning out. But, like, this is really difficult to drive at high speed, I think. But if you got used to the handling, it shouldn't be that much of a problem. I mean, that was, like, the first time I crashed, I think. <laughs> but, yeah, seriously, this is just, like, so weird. I... I guess I kind of expected it to be like this because it's, you know, coil and uh, they haven't made a supercar in a while, haven't came out with one with them. And it's the, it's the electric car, just like, uh, you know, the Voltic, but it's faster, <laughs> I, 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 I think. It has the same, you know, fast reverse speed too. See how it just like glides on the road? Look at how fast it can reverse. Ooh. Well, guys, on that note, uh, I'll leave the thoughts, you know, your opinion. Write it down in the comments if you've, you know, driven this thing. I mean, as for customization, it's, it's, it's pretty mediocre, and uh, the li the liveries kind of save it a little bit for me. The price tag, it was about 2.2 million I spent in total. Not on the car, but on the car and the mods. Um, is it worth it? Sure, but only if you like the Coil Voltic. Cause that's like, if you don't like that, then you're not gonna like this, for sure. Thanks for watching.